Good morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul. This morning, as you can tell, um, we're not motorcycling. It's absolutely chucking it down. It's eight degrees outside and uh, I'm on a little trip. Uh, I've got about an hour's drive to a village called Uppingham. And uh, the objective is to surprise uh, my riding buddy, Wayne. As today, uh, Wayne's going to enjoy one of the uh, exciting days that you uh, have as a biker. So I'll catch up with you in a while when we get to the destination and uh, explain more then. Cheers now. So I've arrived, it's uh, Uppingham, and there's a Harley Davidson and a Yamaha dealership here, which you can probably see. But take a wild guess which uh, type of bike Wayne is definitely not going to be buying. Okay, we'll wait for him to arrive now. Um, <laughs> this is James. Yeah, this is me. Hi, how you doing? You right? um, so this is our workshop. Uh, so we've got specific Yamaha benches and we've also got the, um, the Harley benches as well. Um, so it's all incorporated in one workshop? It's all incorporated in one workshop. So a uh, new, new sort of £350,000 workshop happened this year. And yep. all the uh, resurrections. We've also got in here, this is our... Ah, uh, right. I didn't even know you had this. Well, that's what I mean, yeah. So this we never came. Is this recently open then? Uh, this is because we came. We came round in back in October time. Yeah, no. So this this would have been a, a oh, right. in October. Uh, this is sort of our used bike showroom, but uh, at the moment we've sort of overfilled some of our new Yamahas into here at the moment. Uh, and obviously then that feeds into the Harley. We don't want to go in there. Um, well, I had a quick look, I wasn't going to go there. It's not my yeah. cup of tea. So it goes into a Harley Davidson dealership in, 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 on the other side. But um, Good selection. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to, it's going to be a surprise. So I won't, I'll film it when he gets here. Yeah, there you go, that is, uh, that's fine. But yeah. So oh, you've got a good selection of, uh, so this is a selection of used and new, isn't it? In here? Used and new. So I'm standing in front. I'm standing in front of his bike, but I won't show it to you yet. We'll wait, we'll wait for uh, Wayne to arrive, and then we will make the big reveal of the bike. But it's looking very shiny. And it's actually a brand new one. I thought it's going to be the demo one that uh, they had here, but it's a brand new bike. All shiny and clean. Don't know why he's picking up on a day like this. Personally, I would have had it delivered to my house if I was going to buy something like this today, but there we go. Right, let's wait for him to arrive. I thought I'd surprise you. You're in the car, I trust. It's bloody right I'm in the car. <laughs> you must be mad picking up today. I thought I'd keep the dog familiar. Caught him. Right. <laughs> I gave the panning of this spruce up, that's all. Ah, uh, right, okay. Should have peel, peeled these all off. I, I could. I should have tried. Oh, they wouldn't come off. Yeah. That's a shame. Is that going with it? Yeah. Yeah. It's. I haven't. Uh, I thought I'd document this. I don't know if you allowed me to put it up on the on the channel. But anyway, I've, yeah, so I, no, I did a no, bit. I, so I've had a little I'm look cool at the bike, but it. I haven't explained to them what you've come to pick up here yet. Yes. Yeah. Um, Is it inside? I've, I presume it. Yeah, it's in there. So I've, I've explained that it's a Yamaha and Harley dealership, but I have explained that there's one of those you definitely won't be going for. 
<laughs> but I haven't explained exactly which bike. But anybody who saw our previous video a couple of months ago will probably understand what it is he's going for. So you're completing the paperwork, etc., and then we'll go and uh, show you the bike. Well, I'll let him reveal which bike it is in their showroom garage to the rear. A lovely showroom here, as you can see. Really friendly guys. Coffee machine, etc. Plenty of parking. In fact, there's a car park directly opposite the uh, dealership as well, actually. But what a day! Shall I reveal it or do you want to reveal it? So this is his new bike. The Tracer 9 GT, which comes with panniers, etc. You may remember he uh, you may remember he rode one of these uh, a couple of months back. Um, make sure that you bring it back to the Yamaha dealership for your first service because it is the uh, William Valabat Okay. So if you if you put it in and push it all the way around, or so, uh, that way, uh, so go that one first. All right. Yeah. That presses that, and you pull it towards you. Something is back to front. Oh, I got it. There you go. So what do you have? You you get the uh, yeah, sort of back. That all comes on it, which is obviously part of the. It's kit. all part of the kit. And then, yeah. Uh, but it's the we've, we've got the rack, I believe, on the top box. But it's yeah. the colour coded yeah. flashes we have. Oh yeah. So yeah. we want to make it look right. So yeah. Well, you won't need that unless you're touring, really, will you? No. Or well, if I take those off and just use that for day use, the top box. Oh, oh good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, slimmer for filtering then. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Tires, new brakes. Um, and like I would, like I said, um, if you have any problems, give it a shout. If you don't, if you don't share the controls, you've got. Yeah, you might have gone for this button. Yeah. A little power output socket there as well. On the side. Yeah. And then, so the satin, I've got options for satin bracket, haven't I? Yes. Without avoiding, uh, sorry, covering the instruments. Yeah, good. Right. Fantastic. Well, can you put a sat nav on, onto there or something? Or? Uh, I don't know. Or, or maybe, is maybe there a, an official bracket that goes here somewhere or is it off that? Around here, yeah, you can actually have one there. Right. Um, but what I'll do is do a bit of research and stuff for you. Okay, that's great. So, it looks nice. There we are. Is that the Turing screen or standard screen? Standard screen. Is it? Um, let's have a look at so where you'd have to put, it. You'd up. have to put GPS here. There's no. There's, because that you have to squeeze that to lift oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. To, to so you haven't got any other op unless there's something that mounts. I, I'm sure I've seen something that sits it up here. Yeah, quite, these are quite high, aren't they? They have been yeah, yeah. raised on this one quite yeah, a lot. Stamp, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find that more comfortable than the KTM seat. I, I do. Well, I reserve my judgment, but if you say so. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, def it's definitely bigger. It's certainly thicker. You think it is? I think. It's a longer reach for well, we'll soon, legs we'll soon well. find out. Brilliant! Oh, no. How exciting! Hey, hey, hey. Look at that! Hey. Look at that!
see the knack for <laughs> Yeah, I'd put an acker on it personally. Yeah, but... If you see any problems, give me a shout. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you are happy for me to send you an email, have a shout. Thanks, James. No, no yeah. And yeah. uh, well, I mean, obviously get invited to all our Yamaha events as well. That's now, great. So, um, come along and I'm actually trying to set up a Tenere off-roading thing as well. Yeah. Moment. So if you want to get involved in that. Yes. Uh, down in Wales, it'd be about 250 quid per customer. But, Sounds good. Um, it'd be a day down in Wales, their bikes, their kit, get money and come back. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that sounds good. That. 250 quid, that sounds like a good birthday present. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I'll let you crack on and any problem give me a shout. Super. Thanks, Thanks again, dude. Cheers, Cheers. Thanks a lot. See you later. Take care. Oh, oh, oh. Looks cracking. I still wouldn't want to ride, take it out on a shitty day like this, a brand new bike. But I mean, they're going to get, it's going to get caked at some point. So quick, it, it will. I know you want to get out and have a ride. Right, but yeah, yeah. what was the thinking behind um, the KTM? I, I sold the KTM, not because I was bored with it. It's been, it's my second KTM. At 1190 before, uh, been super reliable, great fun. Um, it is quite a heavy bike, especially this early 1290 with a bigger fuel tank. Uh, it's got the 30 litre tank. It's a very heavy bike, it's 240 kgs plus. Uh, got a little bit of a slope on my drive, and uh, increasingly, I think that was a whoa moment. Uh, and similarly, you know, up steep uphill. Uh, T junctions and the like on a loose surface when you're touring. So I wanted something lighter, but something that's e still comfortable. And this is not full-on adventure, but it's somewhere between adventure and a sports tourer in terms of riding position. I uh, had a go on it. Feels very comfortable. Uh, I just fell in love with the engine, and it's got lovely specification. Loads of toys on. As standard I think it's fabulous value for money and I'm not alone loads of journos have fallen in love with it so I'm really looking forward to it there we go looks cracking in red I think you made the right choice I, with the color yeah because you know the gray or the black or whichever the other ones there are yeah uh, it, it, it looks it pops doesn't it in, in that red it does, it does it really does pop and then the when the and it's a triple edge so we've now got you into the triple family yeah i i exactly <laughs> and uh nice. i'd be a second bar if it just had a different dash to it i think yeah yeah hey hey you may get you should switch I, it on I, again for I, us i think so i mean it's switch that I, down i don't know what is in here paul other than you know why they did what in the, in the middle there yeah in this flat box there um it's nothing it's purely a stalk isn't it yeah and I'm, the cable's going out of here sure. so why why couldn't they uh, i don't know but it's yes it's a bold choice anyway well you can that? give me your views on the, the dash do. in yes. due course and whether my concerns so there, oh, there are is, I, there is um preload for the front as well as the semi-active so yes and then preload on the back you got well, yeah you got a wire cable going in there so presumably you can change that on the fly uh or is yeah. that is that the adjuster there i've got my yeah, glasses on i think yeah i shall have to read up tonight but i think what's that there oh that's just a sleeve yeah and the the rear is semi-active is it uh yes it, it's the whole thing is semi-active but the rear the preload is manual right yeah I love the stitching. That's super. Yes. Yeah. No, I like the detail on that. Yeah. That no, looks like, and the seat is. It looks like um, Alcantara. Alcantara. That's it. It looks yeah. like. It's not though, is it? No. But it no. looks like Alcantara. No. It's no. got. I bet that's really grippy. Whereas that yeah. looks a bit shiny and slippy. Yeah. And I, uh, that's that's just lovely the way that that integrates onto there. Oh, I see, and it locks into. Yeah. All right, so there's a little, tiny little bit of movement, but they, they also put movement on these things, don't they, these days? Yeah. That's no, very neat. 6,000 running in, right. So there we go, Wayne's new bike. A touring monster for uh, this year, hopefully. And off he goes. Hey, Paul. 